This story consists of a number of episodes. Each episode is uploaded on Mondays and Wednesdays. The case is a massive fraud that has recorded the largest number of victims in Korea since 2004, and many people are still living in pain. The beginning of the case began in 2004, when Mr. Cho raised money through a method of making high profits through a medical device rental business. Mr. Cho used a method of reducing the risk of fraud by changing the company's name by region. After that, by paying continuous profits, fraud was expanded nationwide, and dozens of corporations and 49 centers were operated. This was just a bait in a typical Miramid trick. In fact, Cho's case is called a pyramid, but to be exact, it was a typical Ponzi scheme. Of course, the Ponzi scheme was supposed to fail unconditionally as long as humans were finite, and Mr. Cho and his gang prepared for the conclusion of the scam as their lies reached their limits. Eventually, in October 2008, Cho destroyed the company's computer network and fled with personal assets he had cashed in and was wanted in November. But on December 9, Mr. Cho smuggled to China from Magumpo Port in Tian County and disappeared. Most of the victims were ordinary people, and personal bankruptcy and social discord spread as they drew and spent all their property, as well as money from family members, relatives, and acquaintances. And the social impact was very large, with about 10 investors committing suicide in despair. When looking at the damage, the total number of victims reached about 30,000 over five years, and total $370 billion, including $75 billion in Daegu and Busan alone, and $77 billion in the metropolitan area and Chungcheong area, including Incheon. After that, in May 2012, news broke that Cho had already died in December 2011, Cho's bereaved family released a video of the funeral that Cho He Pao had filmed in China, saying that he was apparently killed by a group he wanted. However, it was enough to suspect that filming the funeral or the transparent lid of the coffin was a fake video of the funeral of the bereaved family who had an artificial appearance. As a result, the police investigated the DNA of the remains but failed to evaluate the DNA because the remains were cremated and damaged. However, Cho's cremation certificate is signed as having been cremated on December 21st, 2011, and the date of the certificate is December 11th, 2011. The prosecution assumed that he was not killed as a result of this and said it would continue to investigate. Since then, rumors have been heard that Cho was seen at a golf course he used to visit often and that he was arrested by Chinese public security. So he tracked his whereabouts, but the investigation became mysterious, as it turned out not to be Cho. There were suspicions that Mr. Cho and administrative, police, and prosecution officials were involved in the formation and maintenance of such a large-scale pyramid organization, Mr. Cho's escape, and the leak of funds. But the investigation of suspected officials was sluggish, and Cho's death was eventually reported, and the Interpol wanted was lifted, and the investigation was closed. Assuming that he is alive, it is actually a successful complete crime, and if Cho is alive somewhere, he is currently 67 years old. In 2024, 20 years later, the sad reality that the victims are still living in pain is so painful.